what are the best concrete mixing tools? And to answer that, I would need to know how much concrete you're planning on mixing. I mean, the uni universal answer to mixing concrete is to use a concrete mixer or a barrel style mixer, they're called. And they're expensive, like kind of a few hundred dollars for an entry level one. But you can rent those too. You could go to the local big box hardware store and just rent one for 10 20 50 dollars and then you can really batch as much concrete as you want it's not my preferred method though It's not my preferred method. That's only for if I'm doing larger jobs, like, I don't know, sidewalks or driveways or things like that, where I'm going to be batching and, you know, load after load of after uh, load after load of concrete. Usually I'm not doing that, especially for anything decorative, bench top, stuff like that. I think that there's better options. So let's talk about a few of them. Two of the, the most common ways that I see people mixing concrete. It actually makes me laugh because I like I do so much concrete mixing for decades, like a crazy amount. I never do either of these. One, square shovel with a piece of plywood. You often would see this for like a dry pack style of mixing. You put all of your materials on a piece of like four by four plywood and you use your square end shovel and just kind of turn the pile over into itself over and over and over again. And with, the, as I say, a, a dryer mix or a dry pack mix as it's called, that's actually fairly effective, but it's still a labor laborious process to lift and turn all of that stuff over. With technique, you can minimize on the amount of labor you're doing. It's still labor. Here's another method that people often use. A wheelbarrow and a spade shovel. I think this actually might be the number one thing that people go to. Wheelbarrow and spade shovel. A skilled hand can minimize on the amount of labor, the amount of effort you have to put in to mix concrete with a spade shovel in a wheelbarrow. But you know what? It's still so much work. Holy cow. Like, how strong are you? Or how strong are you trying to make yourself here? Because if you're just constantly mixing in a wheelbarrow, to me, the best option, the best tool for mixing concrete and mortar in the small to medium size range. Again, large range, we're just gonna use a concrete mixer, a barrel style concrete mixer. You can buy one, you can even rent them. But for everything else, I'm using something like this. This is a, a drill and a whip, you might refer to this as. But the drill is not just, you know, your regular cordless drill. It's a extremely high torque drill made for this application. And so you would have to get a product specifically for that. But with a setup like this, and a pretty decent five gallon bucket, you can just batch concrete or mortar over and over and over and over again, very fast when you get you know familiar with the system. Very little work, very little stress and sweat involved in the process. And that's why I like this method. It is my preferred method. And I'll go ahead and mention that, you know, it used to be that you could just get any bucket anywhere and it would be fine to do this with. Mortar, you could do this for days. With concrete, you'll get a couple of batches before the gravel ends up breaking, splitting the side of the plastic bucket. But I found that Home Depot in recent years, their buckets just don't cut it anymore. They, they will break first time of use every time, whether it's mortar or concrete. So I find alternative solutions for my buckets now, but for decades, I've been mixing concrete and mortar in five gallon buckets, batching it with a drill and a whip, and man, you can go to town and make an awful lot of mud with fairly little effort. So that is my vote for the best tools for mixing concrete. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and you're gonna learn a ton about how to work with concrete.